Good morning, board members. My name is Joanne Reese. I'm a member of OPAL and Bus Riders Union. I'm here to testify about what I experienced during the Equity Forum on Tuesday, October 29th at ERCO. I'm using I statements. I'm just relaying my experience and my perceptions. I was happy that TriMet seemed interested in giving me and people like me a voice. I am working class, a first generation American, and transit dependent. When I left the Equity Forum, instead of feeling empowered, I felt tokenized. The first thing I noticed when I arrived at the forum was that only perhaps 50 people were in attendance. Most of the attendees were members of OPAL and BRU. I was surprised to see that considering all the diverse communities served by ERCO, the only representatives of the immigrant and refugee population seemed to be Latino, with the exception of one young African Muslim woman. I was taken aback that the TriMet Spanish-speaking employee acted as a facilitator and interpreter to the Latino group. I found TriMet's decision to use employees to act as facilitators and note-takers somewhat suspect. In groups of seven people, we were asked to tackle six questions in half an hour. My impression was that the TriMet facilitator note-taker for our group was not transit-dependent. My impression was that they did not realize the lack of equity in the fare structure. They seem to not know that the streetcar only costs a dollar. They seem not to realize that TriMet riders cannot even get on a bus without offering fare first, whereas st streetcar riders and max riders just hop on, keeping their fingers crossed that they will not encounter a fare inspector. <coughs> they seem not to grasp that lower income people tend to be bus riders, or a combination of bus and max rider, and that the average income of streetcar and max riders tends to be higher. They seem to not understand how targeting specific max stops over others for fare enforcement might be profiling. Our group wasted unnecessary time on teachable moments to raise the awareness of the facilitator and note-taker about the realities of transit ridership. The facilitator and note-taker seemed unable to explain the poverty level. Opal staff had to explain it to us. My impression was that the facilitator note-taker did not know how TriMet reached the surprising conclusion that more low-income riders use monthly bus passes than bus tickets. Keeping to my promise to use I statements, I feel that the equity forums, while well-intentioned, failed miserably, at least at the Tuesday, October 29th equity forum at ERCO. On Tuesday, October 29th, the equity forum only paid lip service to Title VI. To remediate this, there needs to be better outreach about the forums so a broader spectrum of TriMet's diverse ridership can be heard. Facilitators, note-takers, and interpreters should not be TriMet employees and need to be transit dependent. The facilitator should not also be a translator. In closing, the TriMet Equity Forum on October 29th at ERCO was not a moment for self-congratulation. TriMet can do better. It needs to do better if it is truly to comply with Title VI. Thank you.